welcome to or welcome back to Tip Reads Books where I read books and then I talk to you about them. Today I thought I would start off a new little series where I give you a book review in five minutes. This is going to be a challenge for me so let's see what we can do. A book I read really recently that I really liked was Night's Edge by Liz Karen or Kieran? Not sure. Exactly. Probably should have looked that up but what I did look up was the characters names so I will remember them this time. Okay. Night's Edge is a vampire adult novel that leans less into the fantasy and more into almost like a dystopian soft sci-fi. So if you are kind of leaning into the new the resurgence of the vampire era that is happening and want something a little bit different, I really recommend picking this one up. I really enjoyed it from a horror perspective per perspective and I think it has it does something really different that not a lot of books have done. One of the things I've seen recently with vampire novels is we're talking about vampires as a metaphor for abuse. Um, a Dowry of Blood did it really well and I think Night's Edge does that but in a very different way that hit me pretty hard and I think it is why it works so well for me. So first I'm going to tell you there's a couple contents war content warnings with this book and the first one is that we are living in a post-viral world where a virus outbreak is what caused the vampire thing to happen. It is a specific virus that people carry so we deal with a how people are adapting to a post viral world with things like scanners for entry to buildings basically it's a blood scanners because the bloodborne virus so we have that type of level of thing so if you're someone that 2020 hit you hard and you cannot deal with virus outbreaks this might not be the book for you the other thing that this deals with is abuse but in a metaphorical kind of way we are seeing some abuse but not physical we're seeing very emotional abuse a lot of controlling almost parentification I don't know what the term for it is when you swap the role of a parent and a child but there's no siblings that they're being that the child is being forced to take care of and so there's a lot of um isolation control manipulation and uh, that type of stuff but no well there's a small amount of physical violence but that's because that comes with the territory of vampires but it has not been direct physical abuse is we see the flashbacks so this story follows Mia and her mother Izzy. Mostly we focus on Mia. Mia is the main character. This is I believe in first person. Pretty sure. And we're um, yes because it's first person limited. Either that or it's third person limited but we are always in Mia's head. We see everything through Mia's perspective. Mia is um, living with her mother who contracted this virus when Mia was like 10 years old and from that point Mia has been forced to care for her mother by being her mother's blood donor and she was given this virus by an, a boyfriend kind of that they had recently met and he passed on the virus to Izzy and then Mia was so traumatized by the fact of Izzy killing people that she at the young age of like 11 or 12 started being her mom's blood donor through a very violent situation that she um, did to herself. And there are scenes in this where Mia, where Mia gets told by Izzy, you need to be the adult now. I need you to be the adult. And this is kind of where it starts. We're getting the story in two things. We're getting the flashbacks. Every couple of chapters, we get a couple chapters of what happened with Izzy becoming the, a carrier of this disease and with Mia taking care of her. And then we are getting the forward current time things where Mia, who is now 22, is realizing how controlling and abusive her mother is by isolating her, not letting her have adult experiences. And Mia is starting to have an emotional connection with a young woman who is kind of causing her to have the type of I guess sexual awakening that typically people have when they're in their teens. She's feeling a lot of things for this woman and she doesn't quite know what to do with them but it gives her the courage to leave her mom's house because this young woman went through a very similar thing with an emotionally abusive father who trapped her in the house and so she had to escape on her own and so she kind of gives the courage for Mia to do that. But also Izzy has brought back in that man that caused all of this to happen to them not that Izzy is blameless here, that caused all of this to happen to them and completely destroyed their life in the beginning. And he is now again manipulating Izzy to go outside of what they have agreed upon between uh, Izzy and Mia for the rules for their life. And the fact that Mia has figured out that Izzy is like breaking all of these rules is what 
again gives me an extra push so she has two things happening and it's the one that her mom is breaking the promises so why shouldn't she do something for herself when she has lived her entire life for her mother and the other one is that she's realized she's lived her entire life for her mother and that other people have had to leave situations where they have been emotionally abused and um, controlled throughout their entire life so this uses a lot of the metaphors of abuse of vampires as like abuse and it is very powerful it does some things that i don't necessarily like which is, but not a lot of them there was just a couple of things and it was mostly with the ending so this is your pretty much spoiler free five-ish minute review of a book that i think you should really read